Well, this morning we filed uh, with the Federal Elections Commission uh, an exploratory committee uh, to run for U.S. Senate in the state of Georgia. Okay. And what is the next step, would you say? Well, we'll be taking this time, of course, to talk with people, citizens, uh, also be talking with donors, um, setting up our team and laying a strong foundation uh, for a successful candidacy uh, should Stacey Abrams, who of course is also looking at the seat, not run. And have you spoken with Stacey Abrams? Or? Right. Well, we've been in contact. We've met personally. We've talked on the phone. We text message. Uh, we try to stay in contact with her busy schedule. But as you know, she was uh, offered the position as the um, Democrat Senatorial uh, Campaign Committee's chosen uh, candidate for this particular position, should she want it. And since then, she's had a lot of opportunities open up for her. But we want to make sure that we give her the space she needs to make the decision under these um, exciting circumstances and at the same time it's um, created a circumstance where we had actually uh, pulled together a bit of a team we were actually planning on a launch when uh, it was offered to Stacy and so we've had to stand down but that still caused us to incur some nominal expenses which now have met the minimum threshold of the Federal Elections Committee of $5,000 um, and so we've all been in conversation about how we can make sure that I remain in compliance and remain a viable candidate should she choose not to run and also, um, you know, just, just meet the $5,000 limit. Okay. Will, will it change anything if she gets into this race? Well, if we're still in the exploratory committee, obviously. Okay. That's what we're attempting to all coordinate through staying in touch is making sure uh, that everyone's interest is being served. Uh, the major objective, of course, is getting the best representation for the state of Georgia that we possibly can in the U.S. Senate. Uh, and certainly uh, the Democratic Senatorial Campaign Committee wants to make sure uh, that they have a strong Democratic uh, candidate in that race. And so we're trying to um, allow Stacy to finish her book tour, uh, which is very exciting. We're very proud of what she's doing. Uh, it's a strong Georgia voice on a national stage. And, uh, and at the same time, make sure we've laid that groundwork that's so necessary to have a successful campaign. Okay. So you can't say you would drop out if she got in? Well, I think if she got in, she's clearly the, Democrat, uh, the Democratic Party's um, selected candidate uh, for this particular race. It's been offered to her by the minority leader uh, very publicly. I'm not saying anything that hasn't been in the press and they themselves have not stated publicly. But um, that position's been offered to her should she want it. And, you know, uh, Stacey Abrams and I have been in the trenches of democratic politics in the state of Georgia for a very long time. And uh, we're excited about the fact that finally all this hard work is paying off. It is a two-party state uh, and we are well poised to have a democratic senator uh, in the United States Senate from Georgia. Mm -hmm. uh, and so we want to make sure that we're not working um, against each other or that our um, efforts are not somehow colliding mm -hmm. uh, in that uh, shared objective. 